Hey designers, it's Quaker here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the new tool in development, ClearSpace Grid Generator. So what is ClearSpace? ClearSpace is the logo's proximity to other visual elements. Your logo needs the perfect amount of space around it for it to stand strong. So for example, if it's on any type of media, digital media, like a, an app icon or like a favicon where it's like really small or just even on like a booklet or something, you need the perfect amount of space so it doesn't get lost with what it's next to. So the problem that logo designers have when creating clear space is mainly it's just quite fiddly to do. It's just a bit tedious, you know, just creating all these lines. This is one that I done manually here. Um, simply, I just got the shape builder tool, turn it into pink and yeah, so on. So this took about, let's say two to five minutes to create. Um, but however, if you're working on a lot of projects, a lot of logos, it will obviously the time will stack up. Um, so yeah, and what ClearSpace Grid Generator does just generates the grid instantly. So let me just show you the solution that I made, show you how it works. So here we have a horizontal version of a logo and a vertical version of the logo. So if we look at the extension, we have logo mark, logo type, and exclusion zone. So here we have two logos. We have a horizontal logo lockup and a vertical logo lockup. So let's first look at the horizontal logo lockup. So what we want to do, we want to select the logo mark and we want to do select component. And you can see that flicker there. So what it does is Adobe Illustrator's way of registering the component selected. So it's storing it before it exports it onto the artboard that is about to be created. Then we click on logo type. Then you can see we select the logo type. And now for exclusion zone, so typically for clear space grids, you want to select something within the logo. Sometimes designers select the symbol itself, and sometimes designers will select a letter or component within the whole logo. So what I'm going to select is the letter A, and I'm going to do select component as the exclusion zone. So the exclusion zone would be used around the logo and within the logo. So here you can see we have the logo lockups and we have some information on how it works there. So we have horizontal option and we have a vertical option. So we're going to stay with horizontal for this example and then the logo and then the lockup gap scaling. So the lockup gap scaling is the scaling in between this. So this tool can be useful as well for helping you find the relationship between the symbol and the logo type. So the logo mark and the logo type. Um, you know, if you want it to be 100%, so 100% would just be like the same gap or 50% would just be like half or so on. So for this example, let's do 25%. I find 25% to be the best for um, the logo gap scaling and the clear space around scaling. So now we have the logo mark component, the logo type and the exclusion zones. So if we select generate, you can see it's gone there. And now you can see the components or the grid just created with the exclusion zones on the edges. So if you was to do that again, so if we do select logo mark, logo type, and let's do the A for exclusion zone, and let's do 50%. And we also do 50% for the clear space scaling. If we generate, again, you can see it's slightly bigger. And then, yeah, you can do that and then so on, it will work. So now just moving on to the vertical lockup. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select component. I'm gonna select logo type. And I'm gonna select exclusion zone. Let's do the A again, select component. Now let's select vertical and let's go with, let's use this. So let's go with 35 for this example. We also do 35 there as well. So once we do that and we select generate, then we go to the furthest artboard and then you can see we have the lockup scaling with a 35% for the gap scaling and the clear space scaling. This actually looks very clean as well. So if we was to take it out, you can see how clean 
this looks but again is your preference um, and then just experimenting on which one works and what looks good so that's clear space grid generator again it's currently in development and of course i would love your feedback please feel free to drop it below and um, it'll really help just make any changes and include it in the final development really appreciate it thank you